chose ATS, uh, did a lot of research, different schools uh, throughout the country. And uh, ATS was one of the only schools I found that actually offered more than just operational equipment. I actually offered uh, how to use the laser levels, uh, site layouts, uh, setting, setting up job sites. Uh, with most other schools only offer just basic, we're gonna show you how to run the equipment and then send you out in the job market. Well, obviously running the equipment is about the funnest part, but then uh, definitely uh, shooting grades and uh, learning more about job, you know, job site layout and all that, that's, that's uh, a real attention grabber. That's something you really want to focus on a lot, and uh, I've actually got a lot more out of that. Uh, I've been running machinery, it's, so you get comfortable with it. it you know, for most people, it's kind of second nature. Once you start learning more stuff, that's going to help you in the long run. So it seems like the little stuff is really going to help you uh, out in your future in the career. Turned 30 and got out of the army on disability. Haven't really, didn't really have a, a path. I was doing uh, overseas contracting, which is more of a job than a career. Yeah. And I uh, just want something to kind of keep me close to home, close to my kids. And my dad's been doing road and he's been a civil engineer for over 30 years. And uh, I kind of talked to him about it before I decided to come here. And uh, he told me about you know benefits of being in the union and uh, just you know good pay and just good sturdy work. And there's always going to be construction work. So it's just it's something you know I can make a decent living out of it. It's an honest living, and uh, I mean I, I enjoy running the equipment. I've always ran equipment my whole life, and uh, this way I just get certified and get good to go.